whether it's half full or half empty. But I got to thinking. Maybe we've been all looking at the cup the wrong way this whole time. Because it's always been up to us to fill it up. Enough by Andrea Gibson. Last night, I painted a purple tree on my bedroom wall. I woke up this morning in a pile of leaves, the color of a million different pencils. Thinking of that hand that planted the seed of the family tree that grew us all. And how each one of us will one day fall back to the ground. This morning, I was listening to my heart pound, knowing with every single beat that a thousand other hearts were falling asleep forever. On a day they never thought they would. And I know there are tribes of aborigines that decide how and when they'll die, after a hundred years or so, they walk into the desert alone, offer up their breath, and within two minutes soar into a death as beautiful as their life. And I was thinking, I will probably never be enlightened enough to decide how I want to die. So this morning, I decided how I want to live what I want to give, what kind of song I want to sing. No longer looking at my days like they're a cup, calling them half empty or half full when they've always been enough. They'll always be enough to fill me up. If I stop thinking so much and start drinking them up until I get so high and drunk on my days, I'll be walking up to strangers and saying things like, hey, I know Jesus was born in a manger. But I woke at dawn today to watch the true Earth's horizon give birth to the Son of God. And I can't stop singing hallelujah. Can you believe we're here? Can you believe there's somewhere gods are praying to us? I want to be that nun on a bus who's really a prophet telling everybody, Smoking is bad. Stop it. You might be an opera singer one day, and how are you going to hit the high notes? I want to live like those high notes that rise from the throats of old ladies when they see little babies in shopping carts. I want to start somebody's heart like that. Take them 90 years back so you have sworn you weren't born until you saw me. Planting roses in all the sidewalk cracks. So when you trip, you fall in love with someone you thought you hated. Now look at what this love has created. Look, there's a sky on her faded blue jeans with a flock of birds about to fly to my next words. And my next line's gonna rhyme with her eyes. And she'll wink. And I'll think. I'm as beautiful as him. <laughs> I want to live my life like it's a little league game. I don't care if I win. Just want to watch some little girl get her very first hit. Watch her father cheer so hard he spills his beer and decides to quit. I want to split some woman's tired eyes open. Wake her with her own sunrise, so she knows there's reason to be hoping. She'll say, there are stingers in my heart, but I'm sure that I'm a queen. And that night, she'll vow to swarm until every angry car horn is reborn a song of let there be light. Every angry war cry reborn a song of let there be light. I want to build a timid teenage boy to my that will echo his rhymes the same way they echo in his shower when he's home alone. I want to write poems.
poems in the tone of your mother's eyes when she whispered your name for the very first time. Poems that'll make you want to go home. Pick up the phone and call her. Well, I call mine to stay. You know those lines on the kitchen wall where I grew taller and taller and taller? Put a couple more there, won't you? Because I'm growing up too. No longer looking at my days like they're a cup. Calling them a cup. From now on, they'll be overflowing. Since now I'm knowing, it's up to me to fill them up. Yay!